In this video, I describe our proven new customer marketing system. Our digital marketing process uses Google ads, Facebook and Instagram ads, and landing pages to predictably attract 20 to 30 new customers each month to any business cheaper and more effectively. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to find the highest buying intent keywords for uh, for your business and so whether you do it yourself or you know we're doing it for our clients um, what we we always do is include obviously some some major keywords uh, you know if you're a plumber you want to do plumber near me or plumber or uh, you know plumbing repair or something like that um, however beyond that what we want to do is we want to find things that people would be searching for um, specific to um, a an, an emergency, quite frankly, if you're a plumber, like uh, water leak or um, you know uh, overflowing toilet, uh, something like that. So again, thinking if you're if you're a roofer, you're going to talk about you know um, you know uh, water water you know leaking from my roof or uh, you know ceiling leak, um, cracks in uh, cracks in my my, my chimney. Um, so. As you're doing this, I use a keyword finder, kwfinder.com. Um, I'll have a link for this in the video below. But you know, beyond just doing something as simple as you know a plumber, which is going to have tons of different searches, but there's going to also be a significant amount of um, competition there. What we want to look for is something like burst pipes. Now, again, this is going to have less searches overall once this actually uh, shows up but more specifically it's going to be somebody that's further along in their um, their search so what you'll actually find is it might actually cost less um, they're, they're in an emergency situation but they're not looking for generally a, a plumber um, specifically they're looking for an emergency and this works for everything from you know like uh, you know a power outage um, Let's say you know even you know leaking roof, um, broken water he heater. But you know if you're an elect electrician, you know uh, it would be uh, you know electrical fire or something like that. Or you know if uh, grease fire, carbon monoxide, uh, you know uh, smoking oven, something that's relevant but more emergency based. Um, so that's where we start is again looking for you know not just the top of the uh, the funnel if you will if I'm a car dealer I'm not just selling a Kia I'm looking to sell a Kia Sportage or if I'm a Toyota dealer I'm not looking just to, to, to find people looking for Toyotas I'm looking for somebody with looking for a Toyota Highlander and if I want to go further down in that in that funnel in that that buying intent keyword it's going to be somebody that's looking for a Toyota Highlander with moonroof and you know four wheel drive or something like that because that person's not just looking for a car they're looking for a very specific car and so of all the dealers they're looking for the dealer that has that so just think about that when you're actually doing your searches um, you know somebody looking for a plumber is going to be looking um, at, at one point like pipes freezing and frozen pipes burst um, somebody looking for that, that types in frozen pipes burst is looking for an immediate solution and so that's the best place to have your ad. So the next thing we want to do is run a market audit to kind of figure out what the competition looks like, what they're doing with keywords, um, their ads, uh, what their offers look like and their landing pages look like. So, um, you know, if, if I'm, for instance, again, in the looking for landscape design, uh, if I'm running a campaign, I want to see what people are doing locally. Are they talking about price points in their ads? Do they have their phone numbers in their ads? Um, what keywords are they utilizing? Uh, you know, lawn care or landscape architect, uh, residential or commercial. Uh, these are the types of things that we want to do. And we also want to kind of figure out when people are advertising and uh, how often. And so who's doing it, uh, you know, what they're, they're putting in it. Um, these are all really great things. Now, the way to, to, to best do an audit um, without any, any uh, assistance is to literally do these searches throughout the day, uh, multiple days. Do it Monday through Friday. Do it on the weekends. Do it in the morning, the afternoons, the evenings. Um, if you can figure it out uh, late in the evenings, that's even better. 
we happen to use a, uh, an audit software. Um, again, I'll put the link in the video. Uh, that kind of gives me an idea uh, of how many people are, are, are actually running ads, um, you know, what the keywords are, what the ads look like, um, all those types of things. So, you know, really important to me is to see kind of, you know, what the top scene ads are, but you know, it, uh, this is a, for Invisalign for a, uh, a dentist, but you know, what are people talking about in the ads? Are they, you know, if it's if it's a local provider, um, you know, top rated Invisalign provider, starting at, you know, one ninety nine a month, um, these are more generic, uh, you know, smile direct, these are provider ads. Uh, but if, if we're looking at, again, a local provider, you know, they're giving a price point, they're giving a phone number. Now, I don't support clicking on actual ads here, but with our software, we're actually able to click on this and see the landing page without charging somebody for that click. So I, I believe this is uh, morally better, but this way I can kind of look at where they're, you know, they're taking people, what the information looks like and, uh, and get a feel for, you know, again, kind of what a local orthodontist is doing with their landing pages and how it compares with, uh, with, with my clients or with mine. Um, I want to see kind of what, I, you know, if I want to look at, at Smile Direct Club or Invisalign.com, um, that's one thing. But if I want to see, you know, what the local competitors look like, you know, to me, this isn't a great landing page. Um, these are much better because they're focused on capturing information quickly and providing a little bit of information. Um, they're far are better than something like this, which is literally taking you to a, a, a you know a homepage. Um, how am I tracking that stuff? So it's important to me to see you know does anybody have this person has Facebook ad tracking? Um, this person does not have it because they don't have a pixel on the site. Um, this person does, but again, it's a it, it's a less um, you know I like that they say book an appointment, but to me I want to kind of put that 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 form right on that landing page so that people start doing it. So again, really what we want to do is run an audit, find out what people are doing, um, you know, what keywords um, they're actually targeting, um, you know, when they're, uh, when they're actually running the ads. Uh, I, I want to see all that kind of information, um, you know, based on, hey, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, how many competitors are there? Look for sweet spots like Tuesday at 7 a.m. There's less ads than on Saturday at 7 a.m. Um, to me, that's important to see so I know that I can find less competitors. Uh, again, Sunday um, morning is going to be a lot better than uh, Saturday morning. And yeah, people aren't open, but guess what? People are still doing their searches at those times. So um, that's helpful to me. Again, run an audit, find out what your competitors are doing, um, whether they're uh, you know running specific uh, verbiage in their ads, uh, what the offers look like, are they putting price points in there, what do the landing pages look like, that's where you want to get started with, uh, with, with an audit. Now that we have our keyword list built and our, we've run our audit, what we want to do is go ahead and create our Google Ads campaign. Now I'm not going to walk you through the setup of this, Google does it very well on their own. Um, if you need assistance, obviously we're here to help you. Uh, but really what we're going to do is create our Google Ads campaign and we're going to create really an ad based on what we think is going to, going to do the job. Um, for me, I, I make sure that we're doing both mobile and desktop ads, but what we want to do is again, take them to a very, uh, very specific landing page if we want. I'm not going to show you my client's landing page here. Um, I made a very generic ad to share with you, but basically what you want to do is make sure that you're targeting certain keywords, um, create a headline that you think is going to get clicks because it, without, without somebody getting a click to your website, then it's, uh, it, it doesn't cost you any money, but we're here to try and get people to the website. So. Who you're targeting, what you uh, you know, what you are, who you're targeting. These are things that I think are very important. Um, if you have any very specific keywords that are that are important that people are looking for, um, that's obviously a good piece. Uh, I'm not including a phone number here, but you know, you want to have links for a phone number. You want to have a contact us um, treatment options, for example. If I'm in the, in the plumber, um, you know, plumber space or electrician space, everything's going to be different based on those things. Uh, so really, it's very simple. Create an ad that you. You want people to click on and that's really the hard part is a high buying intent ad that's simple it's targeted using Google Ads and then once we get them to the landing page that's when the work begins
Okay, so the next phase of this process is driving people to a simple landing page that's focused on converting them into an appointment. So anybody that's been doing a search on Google is gonna find, um, you know, they're, they're gonna be looking for an interior, interior, exterior painter, some kind of specialist. Um, what we're gonna do is, again, drive them to this page, and what we wanna do is make sure that they pick up the phone and dial, or they're submitting their name, uh, email address, and phone number so that we can get out there and provide an estimate. Um, really what we wanna do is provide a little bit of information about who you are, uh, what the company is, the mission, um, any kind of testimonials you have. Um, again, if you have specific office hours, locations in different cities or what have you. But for the most part, really what people are looking for is an estimate. So what we wanna do is give them an uh, opportunity to pick up the phone and dial or submit their information so that we can get a, you know, a consultant out there to, uh, to provide an estimate. It's really simple, it's really focused on converting them. The secondary part of what we're doing is we're gonna actually track the information. So um, once they submit their information, we're gonna take them to a, uh, a landing page like this where we, they can actually pick an estimate time to come out to their home. What we want to do is um, we set this up so that the time slots are only going to be available that um, you know when when our estimator is available to go out to their uh, to their house. What we don't want to do is give them thirty different direct or opportunities to choose if we're not going to be there um, to fulfill that. It does still give us you an, give you an opportunity to call and reschedule, but preferably what we want to do is if we don't do work on uh, Wednesdays, for example, we would take those days out. Um, we also want to match any kind of promotion that we have in the ad on this uh, this landing page as a reminder, saying, "Hey, thanks for com com you know claiming our hundred and fifty dollar off promotion," or "Hey, you know, thanks for uh, you know for for booking. Uh, let's take you know ten percent off whatever your offer is from your Google ad." Uh, we want to just be a you know a consistent. Um, you can either put it on this page, uh, or we can uh, you know put it on this uh, this this uh, you know booking page. From here. What we want to do is once they select a time, we want to say thank you for booking. Now, the reason we do this is for conversion tracking. Um, once we know that somebody booked a service call or a, you know an estimate, um, what we want to do is take them out of our future automation, which I'm going to cover uh, cover next. Um, but also, it allows us to kind of retarget um, people that haven't actually selected a time yet. Um, with a different type of message than those that have. And we'll again cover that in a few minutes. But really quickly, what we wanna do is take them to a, a very simple landing page, offer them some times to book an appointment time, and then have a very simple thank you page. And that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna try and be specific as possible, but I wanna be very generic about this messaging uh, portion. So once we've driven people to a landing page and we've captured their information, um, what we wanna do is we wanna either follow up on a new lead or we wanna thank them for booking their appointment. Um, so what we try and do is we, we, we customize this for all of our clients and I recommend um, you, you find a, a, an automation software uh, if you're not working with an agency that, that provides this um, to just increase conversions. And, and this is not gonna make or break your, your business. Um, it's not gonna mean an hundred, extra 100,000 or a million dollars in your business. Um, but what it will do is increase the amount of people that actually book um, appointments and what I mean by that is when we when we had somebody on the landing page um, they may get distracted they may you know little Bobby might have uh, you know spilled his grape juice on the carpet or they might have been you know paging through at work and not uh, not able to submit their information or you know once they submitted their information not able to book um, or, or what have you or more importantly you might be you know running a Facebook uh, campaign and you might have already captured their information but once they landed on the landing page they, uh, they they didn't take action so what we're doing is once we have that name email address and phone number is we're increasing our, our conversions for our clients um, and minimizing response time. Uh, and what I mean by that is a lot of our clients don't necessarily have somebody sitting by the phone waiting to respond to a brand new lead immediately. But the more, what we found is the quicker you respond, the more often you respond to an immediate lead, the more likely it is to convert. So what we're doing is, um, you know, we, we, we apply a, a marketing campaign um, an automation campaign so that this runs on your behalf in the background um, and we'll uh, we'll provide a link to uh, to the lead convert um, RX co company that we use um, below but 
Really, it's about trying to say, hey, you know, thank you for your interest in our company. Um, select a time for your consultation, or if you know, this again, if they haven't booked already an appointment. Um, Here's a link to the calendar again. Um, alternatively, you can you know start a virtual appointment at this website. Um, this was for a particular client. And this was off Facebook. Um, we also have a dial back, and this is again happening immediately as soon as that information is sent in. Um, this triggers our automation. This is a voicemail uh, automation where. Two minutes later, we're actually sending a voicemail to the lead saying, hey, thanks for calling. Um, appreciate your interest. Uh, we're, we're a little tied up at the moment, but um, you know, we definitely want to speak with you. Call our office at this number right now, and we'll have somebody available. Um, we're also sending a text message that basically says the same thing. And uh, you know, we, we run these things. You can set the timing to run Monday through Saturday or whatever your office hours are so that you know it looks like somebody in the office is actually trying to get in touch with that prospect and this again goes automatically to voicemail it's not a dial in um, where somebody needs to be on the phone we do have that capability where we can do a live transfer but really what this is doing is just saying hey you know what we know that you're uh, that you're interested we're, we're trying to get you set up um, you know your booking request has been received but we don't have you on the calendar uh, you know all this is just simply automated and the second they actually book the appointment the automation stops but what we can do is start talking about you know how the process works um, you can start doing a you know about the team you can do testimonials um, this all runs in the background until somebody actually book, books the appointment or converts how you want them to convert. So this is really effective at, again, minimizing the response time. So again, you know, if you're a solo, solo practitioner or you're the only person, you know, it, it, and you're on site and you're doing a, a you know, uh, an estimate for a client or if, you know, you're, you're working with a, a customer right now, this all works in the background behind the scenes. So it minimizes that response time, but it, it will increase uh, and maximize the conversions of, uh, of getting people booked um, significantly. So uh, again, it's not gonna make you an extra million dollars this year, but you know, if your current conversion rate is 10%, it's gonna make it 15 to 20%. And you know, if you can double your conversion rate, you know, that's like dov doubling your, uh, your, your revenue stream. So it can be super valuable. And so that's one thing that, uh, that we've found has been very effective for our clients. So to continue the conversation about conversions, what we want to do is retarget the people that have landed on our landing page or taken a, a step in the process uh, in our funnel. And so what I mean by that is we, we, um, we put a, a tracking pixel on our landing page and on these pages so we know what stage of the funnel they're on and then we're gonna retarget them um, on Facebook and Instagram with ads specific to that. So the first step was they, they went on Google searching for our service. Um, we, we showed an ad, they clicked on the ad, they're on this landing page, but for some reason they haven't actually submitted um, an appointment request yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna target those people specifically and uh, we can continue the message, continue the story uh, about our company to try and get them to, to book. Now, one way to step this up a little bit even further is once we know that they you know haven't booked yet we can take them directly to this page this offer um, we can reinforce the offer that we had we don't need to send them back to this landing page um, once once we, we know that they've they've submitted their information their name email address and phone number we can start sending them directly to the calendar page um, or in, if we know they've actually submitted their information, and this is optional, um, we do this for a lot of our clients, is once they've actually booked the appointment, we can, as we did in the, uh, in the, the actual um, automation, we can actually start showing testimonial videos or we can tar start showing service-based videos that tell the story about how our clients are happy or about our services to people that have already booked. So by the time they actually see us on site or if they're you know, in the face-to-face -face meeting, they already know who we are, what we do, and how we operate. So it's more about you know, uh, they can ask you questions specific to you know, how it will affect them and the questions aren't specific to you proving that your service is capable or that you, that, you know, how, how you do a good job. It's, hey, you know, 
pain point marketing at that point because we're able to specifically target them with a recurring message after they've already been to our landing page. So the final step, and this can also be a standalone step for some people um, when utilizing some kind of automation software, uh, is what we call a database reactivation. And really what we're doing is we're reaching out to previous customers or previous, previous um, leads that were on a company's list who either haven't done business with you for uh, you know uh, a period of uh, of time, and again, that's you know if if you're a uh, lawn care service, it might be two years. If it's a uh, you know a dentist, it might be a year, um, or just people that you know again ha haven't for some reason been in touch. Um, what we're doing is we're, we're we're activating that database of all those people that most people have in their you know in their uh, contact uh, you know uh, database. And just reaching out to them via email and via via uh, text message, and you know, providing some kind of uh, reactivation offer. Uh, for me, it, you know, this example is a you know uh, an advertising thing, saying, "Hey, we had a special New Year's offer um, for our orthodontic clients." Um, but basically, what we're doing is again, we're sending out two uh, an email and a text message. You can have as many events as you want, but trying to get people to come back and do business with you. Or it could be a refer a friend situation where if you you know if you had a great experience and you refer a friend, uh, you know we're going to give you a free X Y Z and them uh, are they're also going to get ten percent off or uh, or something like that. So database reactivation, we can build that into your marketing campaign that automation already, so that we can hit people up that you know if they were leads and they never actually converted into a piece of business, um, we can set it up so that ninety days after they become an initial lead we start the campaign again with a different type of promotion or you can just reach out to previous leads or previous customers um, and, and have a brand new offer and this usually turns into some fast money for our clients